I want you all to picture the person you love most. The person you care about unconditionally. Have you got it? Good. Now I want you to imagine this person loses their job. As a bout of poor mental health. Do they have a support framework around them in order to get through it? Chances are they do. Chances are they've got you. They've got a family. You now when I think about this person, I think about my eldest brother, Aaron. Aaron is one with autism. A condition which means Aaron needs a strong support framework around him in order to maximise his well-being. And when I think about it in this context, I am filled with the most amazing sense of pride. Proud of a mum and a dad who have created the most incredible support framework for Aaron. And I'm filled with love. Love for a family who are always there for Aaron, no matter what. Because, and it's because of this that I think Aaron's worth the luckiest and unluckiest person I know. Unlucky in his battle with his autism, but so incredibly lucky to be born into a family who loved him so much. Because what scares me, what makes me truly fearful, is the idea of Aaron without the support framework. You see, Aaron could have very easily been one of the 44,000 young people currently experiencing homelessness in Australia. 44,000 people who, at no fault of their own, didn't have the support framework that Aaron has. 44,000 young people who may have lost a job, or may have been a victim of physical, sexual, or emotional violence. My name is Levi Fernandez, and I'm the Chief Impact Officer of the Coffee Cars Changing Lives, an innovative and diverse organisation who are driven by the absurdity of this number. Driven to operate a hospitality training program that provides paid job opportunities to at-risk youth facing homelessness. And it's because of this the team behind the Coffee Cup Changing Lives decided to create a support framework, something these trainees didn't have before. So we started with the trainees. Where would they come from? We were really fortunate to have an established relationship with Launch Housing, an incredible organisation that provides sustainable housing solutions for at-risk youth. And it's because of this that we decided to further this relationship and source our trainees directly from them. But now the hard part. We had to create a support framework that truly maximised an individual's ability to escape the youth homelessness cycle. And that's what we did. We provided a job with an award rate wage. We provided industry leading baristas to teach and mentor our trainees. We provided a pathway to full time employment. And when this all came together, we created the most powerful sense of confidence. You see, if you've been told your entire life, in no uncertain terms, you are worthless. And you, you'll amount to nothing. You begin to believe that. And what this support framework does is it reverses this damaging way of thinking by showing our trainees just how loved and just how capable they are. And the thing that excites me most about the support framework is the power that it has to bring out the best in people. Now this best, we didn't create. We can teach someone how to make a coffee. We can teach someone how to run a cafe. But that sense of worth, of pride and value that they get out of it, that was already there, waiting to be found. So trainees who engage with our program are provided a job, an education, a pathway to full-time employment, support for strong mental health, and thanks to our friends at Launch Housing, sustainable accommodation. What we provided these trainees are the four pillars of sustainable change. And these are education, employment, confidence, and housing. And we believe that if you improve each of these four pillars, you maximize an individual's ability to escape the youth homelessness cycle. And that's what we've done. I asked you earlier on to picture the person that you love most. 
and I look around this room, and I see all your faces. Do you care about this just as much as I do? And so I'd love to continue this conversation further tonight in more detail. But for now, a coffee cart is fully financially self-sustainable. It has a minimum lifespan of 10 years. Over this time, it has the capacity to enrol and graduate 100 at-risk youth. 100 individuals who no longer have to sleep on the street. 100 individuals who are given the power to find themselves somewhere safe to live and thrive. 100 individuals out of the economic cycle. Tonight, I'm asking for $30,000. Enough money for two coffee carts. Enough money to enrol and graduate 200 at-risk youth. Enough money to triple our impact capacity. And enough money to help us on our journey in eliminating youth homelessness in Australia. Thank you.